Okay. We have work to do. We have work to do. Because we got some people who uh, need a little bit of leveling. And then we shall... Just a little. Just a little. But it's okay, because we'll get there. It's cute that you tried to duct tape me before starting this. Yeah. I, I'm a ghost. Your, your physical... Your, your physical artifacts hold no sway over me. They they really don't. And whose fault is it that I'm a ghost? Hmm? Um, I'm going to say I the monsters. I'm going to say the monsters that, like, ambushed us. It's, it's your fault, Mana. Just don't die, lol. Skill issue. Man, you don't have to be so mean. <laughs> Uh, I do. It's in my contract. Wait, you got a contract? Did you not? Also, I think I'm going to need to adjust the game sound just a little bit. Oh, B's already horribly injured. Fantastic. Great. God, how many hit points these freaking things had. It's great. It's not that they have hit points, it's that you don't have damage. Not yet. Or accuracy. Found axe? There we go. An axe made for fighting instead of wood cutting. just need to find a lance to use it on. Haha, -ha, fire emblem jokes. Yeah, I've got a lot of them. Ah, yes, the glory days where light heal is actually a fantastic spell. Also, I, if memory serves, Goblin is not doing a ton of damage right now because I gave him the weapon that just does 60 gazillion status anomalies instead. Because I feel like that's going to do us more favors than just trying to get him to raw damage to start with. Oh, it's been a while since we played this. That was your last light heal, right? Yeah. Then you might want to start heading back. One more fight, because I want to try and get... Uh-oh. I want to try to get Lord of Level as well. All right! Awesome! Right. They were incredibly inaccurate, and I love to see it. <coughs> Fantastic! Oh, that's a very that's a very good sleep spell. That's gonna make life a whole lot easier for a while.
Let's attack the dog that is awake and I'm trying to bite our faces off. And then Goblet's like, it's not doing shit now. Crowd control, folks. If you have the spells, you should be using them. I spent a good portion of my night that I could not sleep last night trying to think of a graceful solution to the issue of combat in Adventure Monopoly RPG, and I haven't quite figured out how I want to do it. I still pitch the multitasking thing. I still pitch Last turn and then fight your fight. I still pitch just an easier system where maybe your level or something just determines how much damage you do. Because I feel like there's... there, I feel like there's some simple solution that's just barely evading me. Lord leveled up, 7 hit points, intelligence, and spirit. It's not a great level, but it's not a bad one. Fenris got 20... Fenris's hit points doubled, and that's literally it. Meanwhile, despite the fact that B is also a half-oni like Goji is, her mental stats are going up! That's outlandish. It's just like, yeah, we're gonna have the mental stats go up and the physical ones don't. Don't get it? Goblin got a hit point. Singular. Well, <clears throat> Ramosa's level was kind of banger. <laughs> I'm sad because we may end up having to sell a bunch of these things. Actually, now that I think about it, there's nothing in the inventory. So just in case, I feel like let's, uh, let's, uh, There we go. We're having a hard time hitting these things, but they're also having a hard time hitting us. They're having a harder time hitting us than we are them, and that's what matters the most.
We're starting to get our weird word back. Oh, goodness. I had things that I wanted to talk about while we were doing this, and now my brain's just like, yep. It's a game. You're playing a game, and you're just kind of mindlessly doing it. This is like potato chip gaming for me right now. This just reminds me of like one summer in high school where I was making the most of a bad situation. Because it was at the point where like things between myself and my family were getting to their worst. To the point where there was a small room built in the garage and that was where I lived because my father just didn't want me in the house, but also didn't want to, you know, get the reputation of abandoning his son. And I was fortunate because even though I had no internet access out there, I had all of my emulation on my PC at the least. And I remember just spending hours at a time playing the translation of Dragon Quest V and just oh so happily like just level grinding because of the way that the that the game worked because it was the game where you got to actually like recruit monsters and then the monsters actually actively leveled up and you didn't get to name the monsters because the monsters told you their names oh Wait. so pokemon but with extra steps it kind of <laughs> And the best part was that, like, all of the different monsters had different, like, equipment that they could or could not use. They had their own level caps. And amusingly, most of the level caps were, like, well below what humans could achieve, except for the Humble Slime, which was the only monster that could reach level 99. And everybody's like, who would want to bother training up a basic slime when there's so many better monsters? Well, like, for the first 40 levels, basic slimes are terrible. They're just not great choices. But then when you get from, like, 41 to 70, they evolve into, like, absolutely amazing, like, red mage-like characters. Especially on virtue of the fact that they just have so much MP at that point. They learn an impressive amount of spells. If you get them to the 80 range, then their MP growth goes, like, absolutely batty, nutty, stupid. I'm talking, like, going from level 1 to level 2, they get 0 MP. Going from level 2 to level 3, they get 0 MP. Going from level 3 to level 4, they get 2. Going from level 81 to 82, they... Mine got, like, 77. And then, all the levels from 90 to 99, the basic slime, every level learns, like, one of the, like, end-of-the-road, best-in-its-class spells of each spell type. It's just like, hey, at level 91, we're gonna learn the spell that just heals the entire party to full HP. At level 2, we're going to learn the enhanced version of the instant kill spell that affects every monster in the in the, in the the enemy party. That's rack? Well, this was back in, like, the old days. So instead of whack, thwack, and cuthwack, it was beat, defeat, and kill. <laughs> <laughs> Which I liked better. I'm sorry, but... I liked the old way of naming spells way better than the new way. I like, instead of Frizz, Frizzle, and Cuffrizzle, it was Blaze, Blaze More, and Blaze Most. 
There was no guessing what those fucking spells did. They told you. Heal. Heal more. Heal all. Heal us. Heal us all. The funniest thing was getting a slime, a basic bitch slime, to level 99. A level 99 slime learns an ability called Ultimate Annihilation. I will give you, I will let you guess what that does. You instantly win the game. Not the entire game, but it's, it's pretty, it's pretty freaking hilarious because it just deals exorbitant amounts of damage. <laughs> it's practically an instant kill on everything because it's just like, Slime cast Ultimate Annihilation. Huge Pisco Demon takes 7,455 damage. Huge Pisco Demon is now a pile of ash. You gained a million experience points. Oh, we found a long stick. Becky. Stick. Becky, stick. let me smash. Stick. Every time I see an ambush, I start having fucking PTSD. But yeah, I gotta I gotta hand it to Dragon Quest XI, because Dragon Quest XI did a lot of things incredibly right. Like they added a new breed of, because uh... there's typically three types of metal slimes in most Dragon Quest games: metal, metal slime, liquid, and fat. King. Well, Dragon Quest XI has six kinds of metal slimes. Metal, liquid metal, king metal, vicious metal, vicious liquid metal, vicious king metal. All of the vicious versions of slime, metal slimes, have at least double the base stats, are worth at least 15 times more XP and have one terrifying facet to them. The thwack? They don't, they don't run. They try to kill you. Oh. The thwack. No, they don't use instant death spells. You know why? Because there's gear that makes you immune to instant death. They instead go for the haha big number go brr tactic. With King Metal Slimes being worth a base of, I think, like, 1,180,000 XP. But also, you have to deal, like, 130 damage to a Metal Slime. Which is why everybody decided that they love Eric the Rogue. Simply because he has one ability, if you go way, way, way down both the Dagger and Boomerang trees where you pay 64 MP and your next attack is a guaranteed critical. Which sounds like it's not a great deal, but... Bits ignore death? Yes. If you, if you have, you know, the, the, the meta is you get, you get a... Oh, we have a ton of medicines. We should go home and level up. And a couple of people need a good shower. I want to get, like, the obvious combats done. Just because it's going to come to the point where we can actually do multiple routes before we have to go home each time. Okay, never mind, we're going home. <laughs> Lorifil got thwacked in the face, and now he has a headache, and... The other thing I remember so succinctly about every Dragon Quest I play 
is that I have this awful habit in most JRPGs where if, like, there is an option to stay in Gamble, I will stay in Gamble and lose a lot of time doing it. That's not a bad level. That's a that's a pretty good level. That's a level to be proud of. That's an okay level. That's... Oh, that's a second level for Fenris. Okay. We learned regeneration. Holy shit! Whoa, that's a lot of things. That is a solid level 5. That's not bad for Goblin either. That's that's pretty solid. That's that's some HP he needed. Good. Not bad. Actually, for a mage, these levels are actually pretty stellar. Those are very high stats for a level five wizard. Oh, Ramosa, no. Oh no. Well, this level made up for it. It's funny because, like, Ramos is a cleric, but he's rocking some mage stats right now. Is Ramos trying to tell us something? Wow. Remember when it was only 30 cent of corruption to purify someone? Isn't that amazing? Alright, how much XP does the next level take? 563, 1775. So we need about a couple thousand. Do I think we're ready to go to the ancient pirate ducts? No. Do I think we're gonna have a much easier time in the, uh,. In the forest? Oh, hell yeah. I find it weird that it lets you do some of the prep spells before you go into the dungeon, but not all of them. Yes, all of the random crap we pick up is just more money. Which we need. Can never have too much money. Nope. We need to get we need to get Lord a two range weapon because he gets plus two accuracy with it.
I just love the idea that, you know, oh, they're, they're claws, but they're sharp? Like, what? No, it hurts me when I touch them. Who oh, ever heard me. of a sharp claw? Yeah, I know, right? What a strange notion. Oh, God, I'm so confusion. <laughs> I'm so confusion. Come on, Goblin. I'm so used to seeing the full moon on a skill check, meaning, yeah, you got this, and getting real confused when you don't, in fact, got this. I forgot, we made B good-natured so she could actually use the Monk's Scatter Salt ability and pay a couple of HP to attack an entire front row instead of just one target. It is good. I take so much amusement in, like, what happens when I accidentally start hitting forward too much and it just looks like we pounce straight forward into a solid wall. Another question, now that I think about it. How are all these monsters freaking setting up their treasure chests that they're guarding in such a fashion that trying to open them will cause rocks to fall on us? Are you familiar with trap chests in Minecraft? Not really. Okay, well, a trap chest when opened emits a redstone signal. That signal could cause a piston to unextend, which could um, permit something above it to fall on you, like an anvil or a rock. Okay. So you're saying that all these all these monsters in the ink have redstone? Yes. <laughs> you know what? That's a Ink is redstone! Change my mind! Ink is redstone. <laughs> Inkstone. You know what? That's just preposterous enough of a statement that I'm actually okay with it. I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna harsh your buzz here. I heard the joy in your voice when you made that statement. Let's go. I don't care. I've been watching XP to level 3 and all this stuff about GigaChad DMs and GigaChad D&D &D players just makes me want it like, Oh man, I wish I had a GigaChad at my table. Dude, just be the GigaChad at your table. Oh, this looks like a target-rich environment. God fucking just miss. All of you miss. Oh, Lord's paralyzed. Actually, no, that's not paralysis, that's just stun. Oh no. I'm stunned at their uh I don't know. Their writhing Strange movements. <laughs> They're writhing. They're writhing so much. It's it's beautiful. Oh, there's some more redstone. Actually, no, I'm gonna. I don't know how much I feel, how much I vibe with the whole 
Inca's Redstone thing, because if it were really Inca's Redstone, then Bad Goblin would never fail to disarm a chest. The man knows what he's doing in Minecraft. Oh, sweet, the poison killed it. We won by doing absolutely nothing. Yeah, and redstone traps are ridiculously easy to disarm. You just break blocks. Nice. Nice. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, speaking of winning by doing nothing, Lord, did you watch episode 9 of uh, Taskmaster New Zealand yet? Uh, no, I watched episode 8 today. Andrus, where are you going? I haven't... <laughs> Uh, I'll watch mine tomorrow. Uh, I will tell you now, they bring back a fa a fan favorite from Taskmaster UK for one task. I saw the, uh, the sabotage your team. <laughs> yeah, that one was pretty great. That was pretty funny. But uh, I don't want to give away too much. But I will tell you that at one point, you hear Paul going, I wouldn't. I've watched them all be bad at building onion towers. <laughs> <laughs> I won? Well, yeah, because everyone else was shit. I remember the time that they built the lemon towers in the UK version. Yep. And but one of them was a. Uh, a, um, like a prop lemon with uh, toothpicks in it. Yep. And I felt so bad for, I think it was Russell Howard, because he actually cut himself. And then he was handling lemons. Yeah. <laughs> of the combustible variety? No, of the type that the lemon juice really sucks if it gets into a cut variety. <laughs> and the dude had just, like, freshly cut his finger. Also, can we talk about the fact that B just basically... God damn, Goblin! Jesus! It's just like, hey, oh. Fenris, break this treasure chest. And he's like, I got you, fam. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, you do. Oh, great. It killed the uh, orientation... It killed the orientation spell at, because we don't have the feathers. So it killed the orientation spell and their spinner things. So that's that's great. I understand now why that part sucks without the Tengu feathers. We will not be progressing very deep into that part of the forest. No fucking thank you. Yeah, whatever, we can go home. I see a bunch of ups. We got some mad ups. Let's see how we all did. Lord lost I intelligence. Got stupider. I got dumber, oh no. <laughs> Sacred attack and shield proficiency. Fenris hit level 6 and had a pretty decent level. B hit level 6 and once again gained mental stats, somehow, and crazy HP. I Bad Goblin, not that a great is, level. That is very... Bad Goblin, bad level. Oh, Mino didn't do much that's, better. That's not much better. That's better. And then here comes Ramboza like, no, this is what a level should look like. Damn. Okay. Okay, I see you. So, Paradox? Uh, maybe. We'll, we'll... If, if you grind close enough to the entrance, yeah. it is perfectly viable to uh, create Fetch Quest the second and just retrieve us. 
I mean, we have made about 6,000 sen as well, so that's pretty good. Yeah, we'll take, we'll take a, we'll like, we'll, we'll dip our toes into the pyroducts and see if that's doable. Because if it is, great, the leveling is going to go very fast. And if it isn't, then we turn tail and run like scared little babies very, very quickly. Just don't go past any um, fixed spawns so that Fetch Quest actually has a chance if Fetch Quest the second. Yeah, and I mean... The like second. Fetch Quest Jr.? The, the, positive, <laughs> the positive to all of this is the fact that last time we were in this dungeon, we were, like, incredibly in-depth about tearing down literally every wall we could. So there's, like, if you look at just the center, there's, like, five ways to get to every square on this frickin' map. So let's just find, like, here. This would be incredibly easy to find if we suddenly have corpses. Oh, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Oh, that's that's sleep. That's not that much more XP. That goblin's dead. Oh no. Oh no. You rocked the boat too much. Bad Goblin skipped unconsciousness straight to death. Skill issue. And Lord of Fail leveled up. Da, 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 da. That's actually a really solid level, too. It's a lot of HP. That's a solid level. <laughs> While I'm dead. While I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> Remember? This was one of the let's see if we at least the corpses remain. And the answer is yes, they do. And then I never <laughs> oh, bothered wow. healing him. We, we sent that fucker to go get killed. And then some other and then some other clutz to go get him. And then yeah, then we didn't, you know, get rid of him from the party. He's just there. He's there. Vibin. All right, so uh, we don't we don't really need to worry about treasure chests too much yet. Not until Goblin gets a slightly higher uh, resistance to skill issue. Oh my god, you know what I just realized? What? For Adventure Monopoly? We need an event called Skills Issue. <laughs> just do a skill check on something? You just, you lose a skill. Oh no. Now this is, this is how a con- oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, get fucked whatever you are. They're dark shadows. And they're asleep. Now stay that way. Different kind of sleep. <laughs> I prefer the kind of sleep where they can't murder us. I mean, both of those are. All of that for 54 cent. Nepepo! Hey, Nepepo, how's it going? Give me your bones! Nah, give me your XP. Oh, 
Wow, Goblin actually did it this time. Yippee! Actually, B's starting to get to the point where she's starting to do, like, scary damage. Fucking amazing! Incredible. I missed it. What did we get? Uh, Goblin got rocks dropped on him and is poisoned with two hit points. And what did we get out of it? Uh, whatever it was, probably not worth it. Like, six dollars and some short threads. Hi, Finn. Welcome to stream. We're training the second stringers. It's great. And now we're just gonna, uh, Goblin, walk it off. I don't think he's walking it off. He'll walk it off. Just trust me. I would go home just to respawn the spawns. And keep Goblin from exploding. Or perhaps imploding. It's fine, don't worry about it. It'll be fine. See, he's, he's still capable of performing. Don't need that many cat whiskers. We've now made back the money that it cost us to resurrect Bad Goblin. Amazing. Yippee. 2726 is the magic number for Lord. 648 for everybody else. But then again, Paladin is one of the advanced classes, so being able to start at it was kind of a thing that happened. Didn't we get like a 26 for you or some such when rolling your stats? It was 20 something. It was a lot. It was it was an impressive number that most people would be envious of. The ink of ruin did. We know. We know. Just trust us. Oh, fuck. No. Oh, God. They did. One damage. Never mind. We're fine. I feel like it's incredibly on brand for Bad Goblin that I gave him the weapon that just does a gazillion status anomalies. Yeah, it's pretty on brand. Well, here's the thing. Goblin does a little trolling. Um, what he's doing here is a lot of trolling. Goblin... Like an obscene amount of trolling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Goblin is doing the amount of trolling he would do if we said, Goblin, we need you to go maximum troll. We need you to make these fuckers not want to play the game anymore. Oh, this is a... We could blow up this wall if we had the pickaxe. We don't. I'm very sad. It does not seem imperative to do so. It doesn't. I mean, it brings me a very small amount of... There we go. Oh, fuck. Um. Well, Ugh. start blasting. Ooh. 
What were you scared of? Uh, the fact that Mekurabe knows how to paralyze people. Yeah, well, there's one of him and six... Actually, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. Unsurprisingly, Mekurabe goes after the, the paralyzed player. All right, disarm the poison spikes first. And now, uh, hey, Ramosa, you know how to cure paralysis? Hog. You know, you know how to cure lost hit points? Oh, shit. That boy do be cooking, though. Three hundred forty ain't bad. All right. All right. 77's a good amount of damage. We have somebody that can deal 77 damage now. That's... That is some damages. Yep, we're... we're Starting to get back to a similar glory. It's definitely it's not... It's some. It's a few. Yeah. It's, it's definitely not Mooney's consistent 150 plus, but... It's no fireball. I would start heading back. Oh, I was already... Already thinking that. Rocks fall, nobody dies. Worse than an empty level. Worse than an empty level. That is... Awful. Worse than an empty level! Uh, have we seen one worse than this? Yeah, but remember, your level does contribute to your damage. Yeah, that's true, but... It still stings. Now this, on the other hand, again, be with the frickin' I'm a half phony, but I'm also going to raise my intelligence and spirit. Which is actually going to make it incredibly easy for B to start multi-classing. Oh, finally! Trap avoidance! Yay, the skill issue has been corrected. Oh yeah, we're at level 7, so we're seeing 4th level spells now.
Time to sell a bunch of shit. Not the antidote. Because we might need that. Actually, we're doing good. We're up to... The, the first digit of our money is now five. Ah, yes. Firestorm, Gale, and Unlock. Identify, Cure, Blindness, and Divine Ray. Oh, yeah. the It's a buff. Fantastic. Two more letters of our word of please don't die. All right. It's about that time for our first break, though. But we have... We have... These these stats are much better than they were, which is the important part. I don't know how much grinding we're going to do before we make an attempt to do the rescue, but... We still have a ways to go. Well, I have good news and I have bad news. What's the, the good? good news is that the spider, he left the room. Cool. The bad news is I'm still fucking dead! Yeah, we're working on that. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. I'm also still fucking dead. But we're working on it. <laughs>